The Cybreason platform provides a unified view of your endpoints, allowing analysts to remediate complex threats that encompass multiple machines. In this example, the platform generated a malloc when it detected that the child process of Microsoft Excel exhibited domain generation algorithm behavior, a tactic used by attackers to establish command and control over victim endpoints. From the Malib details, we can see just how many resources were affected, as well as a timeline of events. To get a more detailed view of the steps involved, we can pivot to the attack tree view, which displays the specific process's chain of execution from start to finish. Here is the Excel process in question. We can see that the user opened the Excel file from an Outlook process. Through loading the Excel documents, a malicious Microsoft Office Excel macro was executed to connect, download, and execute a malicious payload from this web server. The execution spawned an interactive interpreter shell, a command and control framework used to execute code on victims' machines. The interpreter session established a connection to the attacker's command and control infrastructure, and to establish persistence, the interpreter session injected into Firefox to escape termination at the suspension of the Excel process. All of this information provides vital context to the detected threat, further confirming its maliciousness. To remediate this complex, multifaceted threat, Cybreason provides one-click remediation options from either the Malops Management or Malop Details screen. Depending on the detected threat, analysts can isolate endpoints, quarantine files, prevent file execution, kill a process, or delete registry entries. The platform automatically observes all activity and tailors the response based on the threat. In this example, you're able to kill the Excel process, which will stop the malware, but the platform will not let you delete the Excel.exe binary itself, which was exploited, but not malicious. This allows more junior analysts to respond in force without the risk of accidentally interfering with legitimate business needs. In addition, as you can see, analysts can issue responses to multiple endpoints at the same time, removing the need to tediously respond endpoint by endpoint. Analysts can also respond directly on a machine using remote shell. It's important to note that some of these responses also happen automatically, depending on your sensor security policy settings. The Cybreason platform is able to provide a variety of automatic detections and responses on Windows, Mac, and Linux machines. Sensor security policies allow administrators to set which detection and prevention features to enable. Admins can then apply these policies to individual sensors or sensor groups. From the Policies screen in the UI, admins can define settings such as anti-malware detection and response, exploit protection to block exploit attempts, file list protection, and anti-ransomware settings. We can see evidence of these settings in the malapps the detections generate. For example, this malop was generated by the anti-malware feature when it detected known malware. Anti-malware features were able to automatically detect this known malware across endpoints on both Windows and Linux machines.